got it in every T cross. And you know what I started realizing? I don't praise God because I got it all together. I, I praise God because the things I used to do, I don't do them as often. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, you, you thought I was going to say the things I used to do, I, I, I don't do them no more. No, no, no. I, see, see, y'all want to praise God because I, no, nah, see, the things I used to do, I don't do them no more. And I, I'm praise, I got my nice stuff on and I'm looking good. No, no, no. I don't praise God because I got it all together. I praise him because I things I used to do, I don't do as often as I used to. Oh, 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 okay, okay, see. See, last year I would have cussed you out. But this year, I just sucked my teeth and, and walked away. Last year, I would have hit you in your face. But this year, I just clenched my fist and walked away. Last year, I would have needed some Patron and tequila to calm me down. But this year, I looked at the bottle and walked away. I don't praise God because I got it all together. I praise him because the things I used to do, I don't do them as often. I thank God I'm struggling. No, see, so you ain't got it yet. You ain't got it yet. I said, I thank God I'm struggling. I don't have it all together, but I'm struggling. They're going to catch it in one second. I said, I thank them I'm struggling. And I thank them I'm fighting. Because if I'm wrestling God, at least I know that he's got his hands on me. Oh, God, I feel God in here. I thank God for the struggle. Because if I'm struggling with him, at least I know he's got his hands on me. Is there anybody in here that can praise and thank God? You ain't got it all together. You ain't got all your eyes dotted and T's crossed. But you can say, I'm struggling. Hallelujah. Come on, sit down. I'm just talking. Sit down. I'm just talking. Sit down. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. Because if I'm struggling, see, see, before you met God, it wasn't a struggle to open the beer. The only struggle was how long you was going to take to get it open. C can I get real, real? Before you met Jesus, it wasn't a struggle to have sex. Your only struggle was finding a spot at that late hour to get a condom. Okay, can I talk to some real folk today? See, see, but now that you come in contact with Jesus, you may slip and fall. And I'm not preaching a sinner lifestyle by saved people. What I'm saying is when you wrestle with God, there's going to be some victories and there's going to be some defeats. But all the while, you're moving toward his purpose. And why is it that when we're struggling the most, we stay away from God the most? I, I don't know why it is when we struggle the most, we, that's when we start staying away from church. I, you, know, you know, I had a member, and I'm about to do I, I, I know y'all tired of me. I had a member, they, they said, Pastor, I'm going through so much. I, I said, did you quit your job? You ain't struggling that bad. See, see, because I've realized that when we struggle the most, we let go of the thing we need the most. See, I can let go of that other stuff, but I can't never let go of God because God is my source and God is my strength. And without him, I fail. I think David says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Why? Because I can't let go of God. Okay, what's, what's so crazy about Jacob is the text says that God touched his thigh, his hip got out of place, but he was still wrestling. Now, how do you do that? Because from a biological standpoint, it's your hip muscles that are most important in maintaining your stability. 
But God says, what I got to do is I got to touch something that's going to make you go off because I don't want to heal you and you still walk in defeat. I want to touch you to the point that will allow you to lip a little bit because every time you lip, you'll think that God is my source, that God is my strength, that God is my savior. Okay, watch this. He, he said, let me, let me go. Something about to come up. Get, get off me. Get, get, off, get, get off me, Jacob. See, Jacob's still trying to talk. Oh, this is good. Thank you, God. Jacob's still trying to talk. What's, what's your name? All this type. God is like, get off me. What's your na- Where you come from? Um, sometimes some of y'all ask too many questions. Your bank statements say this. And you know you took out this. Well, how I get there? I know I had less money than this. And you spend time asking too many questions that you can't enjoy the blessing of God. What, what, what your name is? What, what, what's your name? Get up off me. See, see God said, I got to bust a move. Because if sun come up and I'm still here, you're going to die. Jacob, get off me. You can't see me and still live. I have a purpose that you have to complete. But if I stay here and the sun comes up, you won't be able to complete the purpose. Aren't you glad that God will leave you just in time and not kill you so he can complete the purpose in your life? Please understand. Get off me. Play something because I'm about to go crazy. Jacob said, J- Jacob said, I-, I know sun coming up, but I ain't letting you go till you bless me. I, I know, I know, I know something coming up. But either we going, I'm going to die, or you going to bless me. I'm not letting you go. That's not, that's not negotiable, God. I'm not going to let you go. So either I'm going to die fighting. I told you I was about to go cry. I, I'm going to die fighting, or you going to bless me. Is there anybody in here that got to fight in their spirit Come hell or high water, you're going to keep on wrestling. You're going to keep on fighting. You're not giving up. You're not giving in. You are not staying away from church. You are not going to stop praying. You are not going to stop reading the Bible. I'm going to keep fighting. Come on, come on, sit down. I got to go. Y'all tired of me. Come on, sit down. Let me tell you this story, and I'm going to go. I think it was 2006. There was, there was a young man, his name slips my mind, there was a young man in Prince George's County who had been missing for about three days. And uh, there's a two-lane interstate in Prince George's County, Maryland, called 295. His girlfriend had not heard from him in a couple days. Um, she called his cell phone, but it kept going, the voicemail. He was leaving Bowie State University on his way to his parents' house, but he never made it there. They put up posters. They put up signs for this young man who was now a freshman at Bowie State University. Please, please find him. He's been missing for three days. After the third day, mm, ain't that something? After the third day, there's a motorist that's driving down 295 who for some reason sees an abandoned car that had flipped over in a ravine. There was a young man down in a ravine whose bones were broken, but he was still alive. Come here, I'm, I'm trying to help you. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this story, yeah. When they took him to the hospital, they said to him, Corey, how did you stay alive? He said, despite how hurt I was, um, I kept thinking about my girlfriend and my family who put some fight in me and knew that I couldn't die the way that I had gotten hurt. So what I did was I took my shoe And no matter how dirty the creek water was, I took my shoe and used it as a cup 
and I scooped up the water from the creek and I drunk it. That's how I got my water. I saw some little dirty fish pass and I scooped them up and ate them too because sometimes when you're desperate, you'll do some things that you never thought you would do any but before. 